So the European Tour team is selected and it's the second week of the playoffs. Yes it is. Welcome to the Basement Golf Show. So a little bit different this week. Yes. It's Monday. It is Monday, yes. Bank holiday over in America. Labor Day they call it, don't they? Yes. I believe. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So PJ Tour finishes today. So we have actually got the results of the European Tour event. Yeah, and what a, what a golf course. What a place to go. Yeah, that is, yeah, it's definitely one of those bucket list places, isn't it? Yeah, Just it to go and watch that yeah, event. Everything from this sort of You've got obviously the, the scenery and how pretty the golf course is. Then you've got the history, obviously, Seve hitting that shot yeah. through the trees onto the green. Um, and it always produces a good event. It always produces a good winner. It does, yeah. And this year's no different. No, Alex Noren, um, one of the playoff over Scott Hen. So uh, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. They've both played very well all day. Um, obviously, then Noren holds quite a long putt to. Mm -hmm. To get it done yeah. and uh, a worthy champion. A worthy champion, and yeah, we've get your name in the street, don't you? Yeah, it's lovely, so isn't it? Get a nice plaque put in the in the high street of the town. So yeah, a nice little memento of the victory for him for every time he goes. By the back. looks of social media this week, all the players just love going there. Yeah, taking all their families across and, and everything else. So yeah, nice place to be. Definitely, yeah. This time of year. Mm. So PGA Tour this week, mm. second round of the FedEx playoffs. Yeah. TPC uh, Boston. TPC Boston Deutsche Bank Championships. Yep. And we've got an Englishman at the top. We certainly have, and he's playing very consistent golf. Yeah, very lovely golf. Yes, Three rounds of, of five under has got it done. Paul Casey, as we yeah. as we would have said, like probably Ryder Cup would have been would have been his bag on the form that he's in, but yeah. he's obviously chosen to stay in America because he's got young family. Mm -hmm. So you've got to respect that. That's Definitely. that's Sort of a big commitment yeah, yeah, in terms of he world, knew that it? he knew that like Ryder Cup was then not a possibility. Put the family first, and, yeah. and quite rightly. Yeah, and and now showing that Ryder Cup monkey off his back, he can relax and enjoy, and he's playing yeah great golf. Yeah, fantastic. Fifteen yeah. under, three Very shots solid. clear of a couple of Americans looking like they're in there. They're still going for their wild card picks, yeah. so it's really important for the and American there's one, guys. One lad on there that I think I would pick, tied six. Uh, well, Ryan sit on his own. Ryan Moore, yeah, I think I think he'll get a pick. He definitely deserves it, hasn't he? He's had a great yeah, season. Yeah, he's had a very good season. So I think we both agree that we want Casey to win. Mm -hmm, we certainly do. But if we take Casey out, who's your next pick? Who do you think? If it's not to be Casey, just the way uh, I like the way he plays. A, a good golf swing, very consistent. Jimmy Walker. Jimmy Walker, yeah, yeah. It seems like a nice guy as well. Yeah, he does, generally yeah. down to earth. Yeah. Um, and we go a little bit further back. Just because I, I like to light the Ryder Cup flame a little bit, I would like Rory to just carry on doing what he's doing. Mm. He's gone f um, level par four under, five under. If he could sneak a little six or seven under today, which is possible out there, yeah. you're going to be going out early today. Yeah. Get in, get a score in early, put some pressure on, get to sort of 17 under would be good. And then see what, and see then what, see what happens. happens. Yeah. There's meant to be some weather moving up that way, isn't there? So, so we early see. start and then see see what see what, what can get posted on. early and see see what happens down the stretch. Yes. So Ryder Cup team then. What do you reckon about these picks? Very strong, isn't it? It's it's one of those things that I don't know if you're Russell Knox, you're a bit annoyed mm -hmm. from the for the tournaments he's won. But Thomas P is he's like on form, isn't he? Played with Darren Clark, knew why he was playing with Darren Clark, went out and shot sixty two. Birdie the last to win the tournament. It's just very, very impressive. Yeah. Love the comment from him afterwards. What are you going to bring to Darren Clark's team? He just said points. Mm -hmm. Why not? You can't do anything better than that. And it does look a very strong side, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, I um, heard some of the, the American commentators yesterday and on the PGA Tour stuff, and he was saying that because he covered quite a lot of the European Tour stuff, mm -hmm. everybody's going, oh, on on paper... US is so much stronger, and then he's like, I just don't see it. Because he's done a bit more this side, he can he knows what the likes of Peters, oh, yeah, Fitzpatrick, yeah. Sullivan, he knows what those boys are about. Oh, definitely. And also, you've got to remember that the 
the world rankings are kind of American biased. If you stay in America and play yeah. all your golf on the PGA Tour, you're going to consistently pick up more points, yeah. obviously outside the majors and the big European Tour events. So, yeah, sometimes they sort of sneak under the radar, especially, mm -hmm. obviously, if the Americans are just looking at their tour and how these players have performed on their tour. Definitely. So, yeah, it looks good and we cannot wait. Turismo! So, in honour of the Ryder Cup picks this week, we're going to a little special tall versus small today. Mm -hmm. The old post-it note game, we're going to pick a player from the European Tour team each. Yeah. And we've got to guess who we've picked. So, we have some post-it notes. We have a pen. I'm just going to fold this under so I can still see your face after I write the name of this player on here. All right, who am I going to go with? Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, so rules are pretty simple. One guess each. Yeah. If you get it wrong, you're out. Do you want to ask the first question? Yeah, okay. Is he a major champion? No, he's not a major champion, no. Would my player be in the team if it was just Great Britain and Ireland? Yes. Okay. Same question. Yes. Okay. Points falling off. <laughs> dee -dee 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 -dee. Is my player a, a Ryder Cup debutant? Yes. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. Is my player has has my player won more than three times on the European tour? We can test my knowledge now. Possibly, but only just. Right. Okay. Um. Right. So debutant is okay. Has my has my pick one on English soil. I need to test my knowledge. Mm. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> we'll go. Uh, I don't know. I don't believe so. Okay. <laughs> I right. I got it down to two, I think. I think I know who it is, but I'm a bit, a bit scared to get it wrong. Andy Sullivan. Oh, good guess, yes. Ah, oh, so mine is mine is Willett or Sullivan, I reckon. Because Fitzpatrick won the British Masters and Chris Woods won at Wentworth. Oh, I might have got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you won at Wentworth. Oh, right, Chris Wood then. Yeah. Brilliant. Sorry. That's a good game. Come back. I like that. Excellent. Rubbish knowledge. Very sorry. Ah, oh, that's good. I think you win though because that was a good guess. Yeah, I'll give you that one. Seven. I did think for quite a while there that we picked the same. <laughs> yeah, I'll see again. And then when I kept looking at the list, I was like, don't look straight at where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have to tell that anyway. Good, so 7 0, I like that. So, Links Master this week is obviously FedEx Cup playoffs based. We have got the next two questions. Yes, round two. So, if you're doing okay. You're doing well. Yeah. So, so, last week, if you didn't see, um, we've got the top four from our Links Master. So, Adam here qualified, Stuart Fisher 
David Ball and Stephen Ennis over in Ireland. Um, we are, I asked two questions last week. Mm -hmm. They all got one right, they all got one wrong. So they're all sat level on 95 points. We've got question number three today, um, which is the historical question. Yeah. Um, and also we've got the first question of Guess the Golfer. Yes. So the five point, the toughest clue for Guess the Golfer. Let's see how they got on. Question three. What magnificent feat did John Hudson produce at the 1971 Martini International PGA event at Royal Norwich Golf Club on the par 3 11th and par 4 12th hole during his second round? Back to back hole in ones. Back to back hole in ones, beautiful, well done. Consecutive hole in ones. Back to back hole in ones, brilliant, well done, excellent. Par 3 11th and par 4 12th? Yeah. On those two holes, what a unique feat, magnificent. Two holes in one. Back to back hole in ones, very good. I should know this. Yeah. He had two consecutive hole in ones. Two consecutive hole in ones, a very good feat, isn't it? I thought that was quite impressive. Well, in the, you, you would have thought in the modern game, because they hit it so far, that, that it would be potentially achieved more recently rather than 40 years ago or 45 years ago. I know, remarkable, eh? Well, yeah, it's impressive. Right, guess the golfer now. So, for five points, Scottish golfer who's played on five Ryder Cup teams. Sandy Lyle. No, could guess that. Danny Gallagher? No. Oh no, unfortunately not. You've got to be thinking Monty. Okay, no, it's not Montgomery. So yes, you all got the hole in one question right. Yeah, yeah. But none of you got the Ryder Cup. Five no. Ryder Cup, Scottish Ryder Cup player. No, so no. have a little think at home, see who you think it might be, and tune in next week to see how they all got on. <laughs> Big whack this week. Yeah. Um, one of my club members, Ben Coleman, he uh, did a charity 100 hole challenge. So he walked 100 holes in one day um, for our captain's charity. Nice misty cold start by the looks Beautiful of things. Beautiful misty start. So I was there at 5am for his start to help him get prepared. Philly's, um, Philly's support vehicle with coffee because they needed that at 5am. Definitely. Um, so congratulations on 100 holes um, and here's your big whack Ben. Okay, so 100 holes for the uh, captain's charities. Hole number one. <laughs> oh, I ripped it. Great ball. Probably sure the swing didn't quite look that good at the end. It was more, can I get, just get me in the clubhouse and get this over with. Well, it definitely got better during the day and then it got worse. He was a bit yeah. stiff first thing, um, but the second hole at our course, par three, um, it's still a bit misty so he's not quite hit enough club, hit it in the bunker short. I've wandered around, um, thought oh, I'll take a, bunker, take a video of his bunker shot. Didn't, stupidly, because he hold it. Yeah. Second Guaranteed. shot of the day, second like hole of the day, birdie, it was Cameron just... the other week wasn't it? Yeah exactly. <laughs> when yeah. we did the bunker challenge. And he's just here. Yeah. So remember, always film everything. Yes. That's the answer. So I think that's about it this week. It is. Um, so enjoy the second event of the playoff season. Mm. Obviously, it's just going to get it's going to get whittled down again after this this weekend or yep. today even. So it's, it's, what does it go down to next? Fifth. Fifty. It not. Yes, fifty. Isn't it? It's one two five hundred seventy five fifty. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's going to get whittled down again. So keep an eye top. Um, next to their name, you're going to see where the projected cut is on the mm -hmm. on the FedEx. So you're going to know who's going to get in, who might need a couple of birdies down the last couple of holes to yeah. scrape through. And then if you scrape through and you win, will come fairly high up the next week. It all gets reset last exactly. week, and you've got a chance. I know it's great. It's what what I love about it is that it's not just about the top of the leaderboard, is it? It's about those people that mm. are, are near the top of the leaderboard but haven't had the greatest season and where they can get through and if yeah. they'll get through to the next week because it is. A bucket load of money this this time of year. They yeah, are really can, playing for a lot of money. And um, was it twelve? Yeah. You can get twelve million. Twelve million. Twelve million for coming first if you win the event yeah. and win the FedEx. Yeah. And that's not. Which is that, just ridiculous. And each event obviously 
cumulative gets more and more money. It's great. Yeah, it's excellent. That's why we enjoy it. Indeed. So, thanks for watching as always. Use the hashtag PJLaugh365 and yeah. we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye.